Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be testing different canes. I've got five. Uh, I'm standing, sorry the camera's kind of crooked. I'm standing in my room right now. I've got five canes. I'm going to go grab them and I'm going to do a trial because um, my O&M teacher gave me a couple of canes to try out and I want to see what I like and maybe this video will help you if you're looking for the type of cane you want. So I'll see you guys outside. Alright, so my first cane is going to be a rigid straight cane, um, and I've got different tips, so I'll describe those. So, the first one, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's a ceramic hook tip, and um, it is has a ball at the end, so it's really nice to slide along. Um, this is my favorite tip. I thought it was the high mileage, but it's actually the... Uh, hook ceramic hook tip um this is a rigid cane i wish if i had a folding cane that had the ceramic hook tip but i did not so then i've got the I've got too many canes okay so this one is a uh four section folding cane and it has ceramic or black uh accents which are like the joints where the joints come in um, I don't like this one, it's thicker, but I'm going to try them out. Um, and it has these little black things. I don't know if you guys can see, but, um, that's where the joints connect. I have a marshmallow tip on here, and it's very thick. I don't like it, um, but I'm going to try to walk around with it a little bit and see. So, I've got that. And then, I've got a regular folding cane. It's, um, aluminum. And four sections, and it has a hook or um, pencil tip on it, which I don't really like the pencil tip because it sticks on everything. Um, so, yeah, I've got that one. And then I've got my original folding cane here. Um, it's graphite, and it has a uh, marshmallow rolling tip on it now because the hook tip for the uh, ceramic hook tip was the one that fell apart. So... That's my video. I'm going to leave it with that because it's cold out here and I want to learn how to walk with these real quick. So thank you all for watching. Okay guys, so um, I was outside but now I'm back in. It was cold and my canes are cold and so it's just harder to walk. Um, although you can feel a lot more through each cane. So how am I going to do this? Um, I'm going to... Uh, I guess I'm going to walk with each cane down the hallway and then I'm going to um, put it over here in the pile on, against the wall um, so I'm going to try the large tube uh, four section cane with the black accents and it has a hook marshmallow tip I'm sorry I told you guys wrong this is a hook marshmallow tip um, one of the canes that has a pencil tip on it uses the uh, slip-on pencil tip, which I'm going to be getting a slip-on ceramic hook tip. I'm sorry, excuse me. Ceramic, um, I don't know what the name of it is. Ceramic something tip, but uh, I'm going to be getting one of those. Um, mainly because I don't like the pencil tip. Um, I like the weight of the cane. It's an aluminum, aluminum cane, but I've also got my graphite. I prefer graphite, uh, but I mean, I can use... Aluminum, aluminum is fine. Um, it's just the matter of the tip matters so much. Uh, because, honestly, the ceramic whatever tip I just got is amazing compared to the marshmallow roller tip. Um, but the marshmallow roller tip I just used for snow and ice. So, we'll see how this one is in the snow and ice Sunday because we're supposed to get snow. So, I'm putting all my other canes in the corner. I'm taking my fiberglass four section uh, black accent cane and it's thick it's like about the size of um, maybe like a ski pole um, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can see in the camera maybe okay um, so I don't know uh, I don't know how to describe how thick it is but it's like I, I've never seen a cane this thick before um, 
So it's highly un unusual, I guess, for canes to be this thick. Um, because my own instructor was like, wow, that's, that's a thick cane. Uh, so, I mean, I can still get my hand on it. It still has a good grip. Everything's good. Um, I guess the reason why it'd be thicker is for the, uh, the more tactile feeling um it's it's hollow so you get more tactile feedback and audio feedback from the cane um because it's fiberglass and it's thinner i mean thicker excuse me um the only thing i don't like though is the black accents on the joints because it's very light because it's, it's hollow but um the black accent so it's like it's like rubber bands like those giant rubber bands that are uh thicker um that's what these black things kind of remind me of and they uh, make it difficult to fold the cane because um, when you fold it, it doesn't want to, when you unfold it, they don't want to snap together. So I'm going to go outside in the hallway and I'm going to walk with this cane. So once again, this is a uh, fiberglass with, what's this tip called? Um, marshmallow roller tip. And so it really makes it kind of heavy, the tip does. So I'm just walking down the hallway and uh, it's very heavy. So like right now it's about, like it's taking a lot of strength to lift it up. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see the tip, but literally it's really heavy. Um, like I was trying to walk with it on the sidewalk and it just hurt my hand because it was so thick. Um, I did put on a the ceramic tip, which that helped a little bit. So, okay, so there's the wall. So I'm trying to like tap it like I would be if I were trying to find, you know, echoes. Um, this kind of tip doesn't really, I mean, it, it impacts the sound a lot. Um, it's, the tactile feedback is great, but you have to take into consideration that it's also very heavy. So I'm going to be switching to a different cane. So. Entering my room now. Okay, I'm going to be getting... Uh, what do I want to use? And it all matters with tip too, because the other one... This one wasn't so bad when I used the high mileage... What I call the high mileage, which is actually the ceramic tip. Uh... So on this one, I'm going to be using a five section, my my favorite cane with the dog bone, um, five section uh, graphite cane. Um, this one is a little bit lighter, it's, it's, it's a little bit thinner, like the normal canes. It is thicker on the tip because I changed the tip to a marshmallow roller tip because I've got five of those and one ceramic tip. So this is a little bit heavier because I chose the tip. Um, with the thinner canes, the high molly tip kind of rounds it out, so, but it is a pretty light cane, um, I'm not, like, moving full force because it is a little bit heavier, but as you guys can probably hear, that was very light compared to the other cane, uh, as far as hitting stuff, but I would love to get another graphite cane because they are very smooth. Whereas this one, this one's a graphite and it's pretty smooth. But it all depends on what kind of tip you get too. Right. So literally people were staring at me outside. It was awkward. Um, so that's why I came back in because literally this car was like, what is she doing? Is she nuts? You know? Oh, by the way, this tip at the, or the bottom of this cane, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's not white like it should be it's supposed to be white um mainly because it's from using it so much like it's literally gotten really bad um i did not use uh reflector tape on this one because that was under my cane broke so i just went ahead and got a different cane or a different it, yeah i used a different cane instead so now we have my two canes. We've got the pencil tip and the high mileage. Um, I don't have any of the, there's one called the disc tip. It's a hiking tip. I don't have that one. I wish I did so I could show y'all. Um, so I'm going to be using the pencil tip now. 
and it's the pencil tip with the aluminum folding cane four section uh, very thin very light so if I could combine this with the uh, ceramic hook tip it'd be great but I can't um, so this one I don't know if you guys can hear but it's kind of sticking to the ground um, mainly because the pencil tip was the first tip used on canes so but I don't know if you guys can hear how loud that is So, once again, that, that tip's very, it's light, I like it, um, it makes the cane very balanced, but it's also, it's, it's a, see like right now I'm kind of pushing the tip on the ground and it's getting stuck in the carpet. Um, that also happened with the truncated domes outside. I went, I literally took this cane and walked out to the sidewalk and I went back for my other cane because I was like, yeah, I got a folding cane. but. Um, this tip is not my style, and it is a slip-on uh, pencil tip, so I don't have any slip-on high mileage or slip-on ceramic or slip-on uh, um, marshmallow tips, so this tip is very hard to use, um, and I can't switch it. And if I did have slip-on, I think it would be okay with the marshmallow tip, um, the rolling marshmallow, but... Uh, it's it's not okay with the pencil tip. Um, I'm sure it could be useful for people that tap their canes, which I do both. I do sweeping and tapping, and so it's not great for sweeping. Uh, but the vi the the tactile feedback is great. I love it. So now I will be using my last and final cane. Oh, by the way, this cane's brand new, so it has all this shiny tape on it. It's really pretty. Um, I enjoy it because it feels all smooth and shiny. I don't know if it actually is shiny, but it feels shiny. Okay, so here's my last cane. The rigid cane that I hate slash love because I hate it um, whenever you go into restaurants, but it's nice to have if you are, uh, <clears throat> you know, if, if you want to test the depth of water or... This is a great cane to take if you're, like, sturdy. You want a sturdy cane. Um, you know, as far as, like, snow and stuff. Um, I use, I would use this no matter what in the, in the ice and snow uh, because it's easier to dig in and it's, it's a firmer cane. Um, but this is light. It's light cane. It's aluminum. I think it's aluminum. I don't know. It could be fiberglass. I've had this cane for, uh, I think three years now. Um. Hasn't got a lot of use until literally the last day of finals whenever my cane broke. Um, I took this out to the lake with me when I went boating with my parents, um, my dad, and it, it was a pretty good cane. So this cane's been through a lot in the past year and a half, um, but it is very light. I have the best thing of all tip, the, uh, ooh, that's dirty, um, ceramic ceramic hook tip. Um, it has a metal ball, which that's the part that fell off last time with my other cane. So I pray it doesn't happen with this one. Um, it's a little bit messed up because we had to put uh, reflector tape on the side, which you can probably see. I don't know. Blind filming, you know. Um, but it is very light. It's evenly balanced with this ceramic tip. Um, with the rigid cane, there's a lot more uh, tactical feedback, so as you can hear the the um, elastic cord moves a lot with each each vibration. So the tap is great. I like the echo of the tip, um, but I'm just going to sweep, and it slides really well, as you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see the tip, but I'm trying to show you. show you guys how smooth this tip is like it's my favorite tip 
Um, and as far as this cane, it got a lot lighter on the switch tips. So here's the wall and very light tip. Um, as far as echoing on the concrete, it doesn't sound metal, which you think it would be because it's ceramic, but it's not. It just sounds like a regular tip. Um, I declined the offer of a uh, metal glide tip because it would just be too loud. Um, it literally sounds like metal is on the ground, which for me, I don't need that much auditory feedback. Um, I just use it mainly for the echoes. I think this is mine. Sometimes I go on the wrong one. Uh, let's see. Yep, it's mine, we're good. So um, anyway, I sometimes go to, all right, I didn't want to use the uh, metal glide tip because um, if you're on like concrete or hardwood um, or any kind of like non-carpeted area, it sounds like metal is on the ground. Um, and I just, some people that's great because yes, you do get every single nook and cranny, you can feel it. Very good tactile feedback, very good auditory feedback, but I I don't need that. Um, I like having more tactile feedback than auditory, but sometimes I use auditory for echoes and location, echo location. Um, and, you know, like, if I go between buildings, I need to figure out where the building is, so I'll just tap my cane and hear the echoes, which could be done with both, any, any cane, really. Um, it just matters on your hand what kind of weight you want. Uh, but I, I choose to have a folding cane, but I mean, I keep, I keep lots of canes for backup just in case. Um, but I, I choose to have a folding cane with a, a ceramic tip. That's my favorite kind of tip. It's my first, um, tip compared to the marshmallow hook tip. I love it. Uh, I would not change it. But as far as snow and ice, I want to have a rig rigid straight cane like this with the maybe a little bit better condition, you know, with more reflector tape. But anyway, um, it's, it's not a brand new cane, so it's okay. Um, I want to have this kind of cane and a, probably a, a rolling marshmallow tip or a um, ceramic tip because if you're digging in the ice and snow, you want to have a sturdy cane and a sturdy tip. Um, and you want to have enough, you want it to be light enough to where you can kind of, uh, you know, move around ice and slide on the ice. But you also want it to be firm enough you can dig in the snow to find curbs. Which, the ceramic tip is good for that. It's also very small. So, for those of you that are considering a ceramic tip, um, it's, like, extremely small. It's about as the size of your, the thickness of your cane. Um... To give you an idea, and you know, the, the marshmallow tip's a little bit thicker, so the ceramic tip is a bit of a challenge if you're new, because you you can literally feel all kinds of stuff, um, all kinds of cracks a little bit better with this kind of tip. Uh, but, you know, of course, if I get a dog, I'm not to worry about it, so, yeah. Um, but this is just a ceramic tip. It has like a little ball and a little disc thing at the end. It's kind of hard to explain. Uh, but if you get to try out different, different tips, I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, because a lot of people don't like carrying canes because of the tips. They're, they're heavy. They don't like, you know, like if they're tired and their hand's tired, they don't want to carry a cane. But this cane is so light. So, uh, this one is not full. It's a rigid cane, but my ideal cane is a folding graphite, um, or aluminum, whatever's lighter, but preferably graphite, uh, cane with ceramic ball tip. And preferably five section because it's smaller, you can actually put it in your purse. But I mean, I'll settle for four section too, it's cool. Um, to fiberglass, I haven't really worked a lot with fiberglass, but I know that it's very tactile feedback and I enjoy it to a certain extent, but it does kind of wear on your hand. Like if your hand's cold and you get all this vibration in your hand, um, your hand, like, you, it, it's annoying because you have every single crack and you can feel everything. And though the vibration is amazing, it's also hurting your hand because it's cold and you want to put your hand in your pocket, but you can't. Um, but that's the joys of carrying a cane. So, uh, you know, like I said, this one has pretty good tactile.
feedback, but not as bad as the fiberglass where literally your hand is like vibrating because of the feel. Um, but I think my first cane was a fiberglass. I'm not really sure. It was very small. Um, and that does have a different sound on the gra on the ground because it's fiberglass. Um, it sounds like glass, you know? So that's my video. I'm going to go to a play in about uh, like 20 minutes. So I'm going to make this video tell you all about different canes and what I think. Of course, this is my opinion. So a little disclaimer. This is my opinion. So if you hate, um, you're trying to find a good blind expert on canes, that's not me. I just can give you my, my understanding of canes. So thank you all for watching.